Welcome everyone back to the Jankyard. It's JT. It's deck tech time. Okay, I'm excited because uh, oh, this is a stupid deck. That's why I'm excited. It's a fun deck. Uh, I'm calling this one Seafood Buffet. I want to thank Medium Salt, one of our uh, regular viewers, for that suggestion. Uh, the reason we call it Seafood Buffet is because it's filled with seafood. Big seafood. Like, we're talking, you know, Red Lobster Super Platters here. Uh, and the biggest thing is it is focused around mainly one card. Serpent of the Yawning Depths. Because this says, Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, or Octopi, and Serpents you control can't be blocked except by Krakens, Leviathans, Octopi, and Serpents. Serpents. Octopuses and serpents. So, you know, most creatures of those four types are pretty big. So if you make them unblockable, that's that's a lot of fun. So let's take a look at this deck. Um, before we get into it, just want to remind you to please like and subscribe uh, to our channel and like this video if you, if you like what you see. And by all means, if you got some other ideas for um, a take on this deck, Please leave a comment below. Love to see it. So, all right. We're going to start with a ramp. Because uh, we've got a lot of it. Because we just... Most of our stuff is big. And we've got to get up there quickly. We get it up with... You know, into... Like a fast mono red deck. We're kind of hosed unless we're ramping quickly. So we got 3 Arboreal Grazer. Good blocker. Also gets us an extra land out right away. Uh, Leaf Kindred. Again... Decent blocker, and makes one mana early on. And if we've got multi, you know, if we've got four creatures out, it makes us two. Uh, Paradise Druid, again, not a great blocker, but good for making mana. And as long as we don't have a tap, it's expert. Now let's get into the the big creatures. Nadir Kraken. This is our lowest Kraken on the uh, on the curve. Three mana, but it's also great because. As we keep going, if we don't have, if we have the mana to do it, um, you know, once we've drawn our card for turn, or drawn a card at other times, but mainly it's drawn a card for turn, we can put a counter on it, make it a one-one tentacle creature token, which is good for blocking, and then this thing just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I, I really like the Nadir Kraken. So we got three of those. Octo Prophet, it's an octopus. So again, uh, it gets. You know, it's covered by the serpent. Uh, and a scry to four mana three three is solid. It's not spectacular, but solid and, and I like the the scry. Uh, next up we got just two of the shark doe crab. Um I like it, don't love it, but it is an octopus, so it, it does get covered by the serpent. Um, it's a four four and it has adapt for uh, adapt one for two and a green and a blue and when Ever one or more counters are put on it, so when you adapt, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap to its controllers. Next on tap step. Solid card. Another fun one. I only got two of because, I mean, it's mythic. Um, you know, maybe we could stand up one more. Uh, the double blue is, is a little prohibitive, but it's fun. Is Mesmerizing Benthid. And this one's really great because when it hits the battlefield, it's a 4 or 5. When it hits the battlefield, you, you make two O2 blue illusion creature tokens. With whenever this creature blocks, whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. But also on top of that, as long as you control an illusion, the Benthid has hexproof, and that's quite useful. Another two of Shoal Kraken. There's a Kraken again, and it has Constellation. Now we don't have a huge number of enchantments. Um, Serpent of the Yawning Depths is an enchantment. Um, and then we've got another enchantment we'll get to here in a minute. That's about it. So that's why I only went two of with Shoal Kraken. It's okay. It's not great. Um, but the con you know, the enchantment, whenever enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. That's solid. And it's a good 3 5 body. Um, here's the rest of our ramp package two of Nissa. Because, yeah, she can make your forest tap for two mana. And that's just super valuable when you're trying to get up to seven, eight mana. Well, okay, seven. Six, seven mana. 
Um, and especially, this deck is three colors. As you'll see, we have a reason to play black. Uh, I just put in one frilled sea serpent because, you know, it's a serpent, and I'm trying to use up all these little guys. Maybe we could have gone one benthid instead, but, eh, I'm trying to make use of these guys. Just same with the d the dam breaker, although it has proliferate too, which is useful for Nyssa and for uh, Nadir Kraken and Sharkto Crab. So that doesn't hurt. There's the serpent. Ah, such a good card. Love it. Here's the reason we play black. Lockmere Serpent. Uh, six mana, seven, seven with flash. Yes, yes, please. And it does a lot of good things. And we can also bring it back from our, uh, our graveyard to our hand by exiling cards from our opponent's graveyard. So solid, solid serpent. Um, the other enchantment is the one I was hinting at earlier. Kiora bests the sea god because it makes an eight, eight blue kraken with hexproof. A hexproof kraken that can swing in without being blocked. Oh, so good, so good. And then, I mean, this uh, somebody recently on one of my streams referred to it as Kiora bests everything because it is devastating. You get to that second chapter and just tap all the non-land permanents your opponent controls, and they don't untap during the next untap step. That's devastating. And then you can gain control of a permanent. Oh, so good. So I, yeah. I really love that card. Uh, let's look at the mana base. For Scrying, we have a couple Castle Vantress. We've got some islands. We have we don't have a basic Swamp, but we do have a Castle Lockthwain to help us draw cards. That's useful. Three Forests. Then we have three Temple of Deceit. Four Watery Graves. So, you know, that gives us the Swamp to allow the Castle Lockthwain to come in untapped. Same with the Overgrown Tomb. And then four Breeding Pools and three Temple of Mystery. And our sideboard is just really, you know, a lot of the useful, strong, useful things in those three colors. Um, we do have, like, you know, some double black, which is actually not as hard to cast as you would think, because we do have a lot of black mana. Um, so Thought Distortion, uh, Camp Encounter, Reveal Their Hand, Exile, all non-creature, non-land cards in that player's hand in Graveyard. That's a pretty good way to wipe somebody out. And since we've got mana ramp, we can often get to that. Ritual of Soot. Most of my creatures, except my mana dorks, are over three mana. So, yeah, that's strong. The Mystical Dispute to uh, counter spells. Uh, Assassin's Trophy to kill things. Drown the Lock to either counter spells or kill things. Aether Gust to deal with red and green spells and creatures. And then Mystic Repeal. For dealing with enchantments so that is in a nutshell seafood buffet and it is a fun deck um, i really quite liked it um really enjoy playing with it yeah it's it can be slow I, i'm not gonna lie um and if you get up against somebody with a really strong mono red deck they can go really fast and you're toast um but if you can get some blocking in and slow them down and also get your ramping in, uh, then all of a sudden you get big guys in and you're just smashing face. And sometimes, you know what, you're going to go to a low life total. Um, check out our recent Jank Light of the Week uh, that was posted on March the 2nd uh, where I played a game with Seafood Buffet and... My life total got really low, but we made it. Uh, because once you've got that Serpent of the Awning Depths, yeah, now you can just smash in and uh, do glorious, fun things with a whole bunch of big creatures. So, a lot of fun. Um, if you've got other ideas for this deck, by all means, share a uh, message below or you know, send an email to us, jankyardmtg at gmail.com. Or send us a message on Facebook. We're JankyardMTG on Facebook or at JankyardM on Twitter. Uh, as you look at this deck, if you want to tweak it, one thing to keep in mind, you might be excited. You might say, you know, I'd like to put in Stone Coil Serpent. The X mana zero zero that enters with X plus one plus one counters on it. It has reach and trample and throw multicolored. Yeah, it's a great card. It's not a serpent. Yes, its name is Stone Coil Serpent. But 
its creature type is snake. So that's disappointing. But other than that, great deck, a lot of fun. So um, if you're wanting to try out uh, something fun and uh, and kind of cool and see maybe you can tweak it, but try to have some fun with it, uh, I encourage you to try out Seafood Buffet. And so once again, I want to thank you for joining us here at the Jankyard. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And check out our website, jankyardmtg.com, and find out more on there and also on our social media. And as always, uh, we play decks like this and others uh, every week on Wednesdays and Sundays at twitch.tv slash jankyardmtg. I'm JT, and thank you for joining us on the Jankyard, and we'll see you really soon.